If you're already an experienced editor and just want to try out a new app, this video is perfect for you as it will give a quick overview of all the main features CapCut has to offer. If you are newer to editing or this goes too fast, I have a more detailed video in the description below. Now let's get started. The first thing to do is, of course, open CapCut. Now you can either choose to select new project or work on one that you've already started. For now, we'll select new project. Now it'll have you select the photo or video from your gallery, and it doesn't really matter which one you choose because you can always change it. I'm just going to pick this one. And the next thing you might want to do is add your audio. So how you do that is you can tap add audio right here, and it'll give you these four options for sounds, effects, extracted, and voiceover. What we want is extracted, and you can click on the video that you're using for your sound. And then all you have to do is hit add, and there it is. Now unless you want the voiceover part, you'll probably want to hit mute clip audio. Next thing you might want to do is scroll ahead to the part that you want to use for your clip. And then how you edit a clip is you can either tap on it with your finger, or you can hit um, the little scissors tool over here, edit, and it will immediately select that clip to be edited, which is super helpful. All right, so then all you have to do to cut something is hit split. And then you can go to the part where you want to end, and then hit split again. The delete button is over here in the bottom corner, and you can just delete the parts that you don't need. Now you'll notice it shows this little watermark at the ending. You can either tap it and delete it if you don't want it, or you can leave it for a cool little watermark effect. The way you add more clips is by tapping this white plus button on the side. And when you do that, it'll open up to your gallery again and you can select a new um, video. You can just do the same thing scrolling ahead and tap split and then cut it where you want to end. Or you can also edit clips by tugging on these white lines on either side of them with your finger, and that's another easy way to do it quickly. You can also edit your audio in the same way. By tapping on it, you can hit split, and you can also slide it with your finger. The undo and redo buttons are up here in the corner, and if you want to see your video, what it might look like, you can hit that little square button and turn it on its side, like this. The next thing is how to use transitions. So see this little white box with a black line in the middle? You just tap on it with your finger and all these options come up. And you can adjust them by how long they are by sliding this little bar on the bottom. Um, some other important buttons would be um, for if you wanted to add text, you can just hit text and it has the option to make your own style or you can have the use these effects too, which is really helpful. They have bubbles and animations that you can use, so you can just experiment with all these. Um, they also have the options for stickers, so you can add a ton of stickers. They have a lot of options for you. They also have the option for overlay, which is right here. And when you tap on overlay, it offers you um, different photos or videos that you have. And by clicking on it, you can hit add. And once you've added an audio, you can adjust it with your fingers. So by sliding it up and back, you can change how big it is. And the same is true with normal clips too. By simply sliding with your fingers, it will adjust the size. Now notice that since I'm not in my overlay anymore, there's this little bubbly thing. If you just tap on it, it'll open your overlay again. So the next thing, if you want to adjust your overlay, you can tap on it and you have the option to split, change the speed. Now for speed, there's two options, normal and curve. Curve is really cool because there's a lot you can do with it. They have some presets for you, or you can choose custom. And by moving these little bubbly things up and down, you can change the speed of it. So if I want to go super fast in the beginning, I can change it, you know, not this works. So you just pull up on these thingies to make it slower or faster. Or if you want to change the speed normally, you could just hit normal, and you could change it to a certain speed. And then you can also change the splicing of the video. So. I'm not sure if that's an actual word, but by hitting splice, you can change the filter, you can change the darken, overlay, and it looks really cool. So you can just experiment with those too. The next thing is animations, and also these um, speed and all this stuff works for normal clips too, so you can have normal and curve. Um, and so if you want to change the animations, they have tons of options. You have an in animation, which changes the beginning of it. You can add an out animation, which changes the ending of it. Or you can add a combo, which changes it throughout the whole thing. Now you'll notice I was trying to edit this clip and change the animation for it, and it ended up doing this one. That's because you need that little white line to be over the clip that you want to edit. And sometimes it slips over here. So it's easy to fix. All you do is hit none, or whatever one you want this one to be. 
and then go back to this one and change it. If you want to change how long they last, you just slide this little bar on the bottom, which it doesn't really work so well with combo, but for out and in, you just change it by adjusting the sliding bar on the bottom. Now, another thing that's super fun is effects. Now, something I learned recently with effects, and there's obviously lots to choose from. Uh, first, you can choose to adjust it by sliding these bars on here. If you tap on it, you can choose to change the object. So you can choose it to be for the main video or for the overlay. In this case, it kind of looks the same, but if you wanted to change it, you can. And you can also hit copy so you can replicate it. And you can also slide these the same as the clips. If you wanted to add filters, that's another option right here. You can change the filter of it. They have tons of options. Again, CapCut has a lot of really cool stuff. And you can also hit adjust, and then you can change the saturation, how sharp it is, the highlights, everything. And you can also change the format of your video. So this is important to do kind of at the beginning. You can change it, most YouTube videos are at 16 by nine, but if you want it to be like a short, for example, I'll change it to three by four and you can scale it to fit the screen. You can also change the background by selecting canvas and then you can add blur, like for example, over here. You can change it. They have some different backgrounds you can use or you can use one of your own photos for the background too. So that's pretty cool. The last thing would be how to export it. So once you set up all your clips and you can just continue the steps over and over, the last thing to do is you can see the resolution up here. Right now it's at 1080p and the frame rate is 30. You can change it however you want. This is normally a pretty good setting though. And then you can hit this little arrow up here to export it. And there you go. You now know how to edit on CapCut. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments and I'd be happy to help you in any way I can. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.